<sighs> I'm Yorio. How are you? Hello. <laughs> so good to be here. I feel the energy of the, some of the people that I know. Welcome, Yorio. And I have a message for Jasmina. I know that there has been much that has happened to you and there are many things that you, you find hard to, to deal with in the third dimension. At this time, be free of it. You do not have to accept it anymore. It's not part of your contract any longer to be in pain, to be in suffering, to be hurting, to be, to be downtrodden. Things will change. Things will look differently very, very soon. And therefore, the angels will be there to minister to you because that is why you can, that is why you can trust them, is because it will help your belief system. It will help you to believe in a greater and more beautiful God because you will be feeling much better. Thank you for that message. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Wonderful. Um, Are there any questions for me? I do have something else to say. I want to just say that the understanding of angels sometimes is very different. I know that some people have a hard time believing that we exist because A, you can't see us, and oh, to believe in winged birds, of that are men and things of that way, uh, nature is sometimes ridiculous. But let me guarantee to you that we have energies and powers that help humanity give them messages, healing, understanding, wisdom, kindness, and bring them out of situations that can be very dire. Sometimes we'll move the cars out of the way just so they cannot die at that time because their life is necessary to move forward at a certain situation. There are times when we save humans from, from eternity because they need to exist longer on the world that they are at. And sometimes we help them to die in a more peaceful way because they have been good, kind, and wonderful. It is just what we do. We do many different things. We have many kinds of energies, and this is one kind of energy that we have. We give much information to the earth, <laughs> much joy, as much as we can. <laughs> but you have to accept it. We can give all the joy you want, but if it bounces off your shield of depression, then it's it just not there. You have to bring it into you. You have to know that, that it is for you and that you accept it and make it part of who you are. Other questions? I will give uh, the angel group a chance to see if they have any questions for you. Yes, I feel them. Do you have any comments on the spiritual healing masters and that wonderful class we're experiencing, practical steps on how to connect to your angels? Um, you're doing a very wonderful job of, of connecting them by way of teaching. Remember that each person has a different perception of that and that each, each master will come to each individual in a different way. Now, angels, you will perceive an angel in a different way than anybody else because you have your own personal angels, you have your own ideas of what angels can do, you have your own perspective of what the angelic world even looks like, but we can come to you and change that perspective or enhance it or give you ideas on what to know and feel and understand. <laughs> but yes, the, just know this. Take the part of it that means the most to you, the essence that comes to you in the greatest way, and internalize that first. That is the first perspective. The first perspective is to find what you relate to, the angels, 
with? Is it their message? Is it their healing? Is it their love? Is it their energy? Is it the, is it the way they uh, way that they move? Or understand? Find something to relate to, and then from that area it will grow. Because your perspective is different than anyone else's. And your perspective is unique and must be unique so that you may grow and understand as an individual, as a personality, as who you are intended to be as a human being. God and angels are uniquely there to help you become who you are to be and to be proud of it and not to shun away or shy away from the person that you are meant to be and when you go out into the universe into the society that you can be yourself and be fully true to yourself and not fit into the little holes that society would want you to fit in to and make you shy or demure or you can't speak now because we said so. You must be who you are. You must express yourself in the truest form. Now, if you have nothing to say, that's fine. But I think that as you grow as an individual, as you grow in the understanding of God and angels and spirits, you're going to have a lot to say and a lot to think because it's a higher realm. It's a higher feeling. It's a higher joy, and we want you to experience that. Do you understand that? We want you to experience the higher forms this planet can bring to you. This planet can accept realms of glory in senses of that. We can bring joy to you. We can bring messages to you and understanding. Accept us. Know us. Talk to us. You see, humans find it difficult to talk to somebody that's not there and so they don't they say what am I doing I'm talking to the air I'm talking to God but I don't feel him sense him or understand him really so what am I doing find in yourself in your soul that fire of God that he gave you you are all a piece of God. God gave you a soul. He is part of who you are. You are a creator. You are a fire. You are anything that God is, but uniquely to yourself, some of those things come out in a greater way in you than in anyone else. <laughs> so find that thing. Find that joy. Find that thing that you love to do more than any other thing and attach God to that. Surprise! That thing which you attach God to, those things which you attach God to, grow. Are part of your joy. And you'll say, well, I want to be this or that and I have no idea how to get there from here. I have no idea. Well, it is not hard work, but you must ask. You must believe. Ah, there's the word. Part of your belief system, your belief system, you have to activate it and believe that things can happen that are good. Things can come from otherworldly areas. Things can come to me. I am worthwhile. <laughs> You are worthwhile, even though some people say to themselves, Oh, no, I'm not. God wouldn't want to help me. I'm just a small little nothing, a speck in the line of eternity. Why would God want to help me? Because he created you. He put the soul in you. He put the creativeness in you. Of course he wants to help you. Believe it. Wrap it. Wrap your belief system around that. Wrap your belief system around positivity and that you can be what you want to be. And don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen in a week or a month or a year. Sometimes these things take time 
to grow. You may not be ready for it yet, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get it. It doesn't mean you're not going to get it, because why would God not give you the things of your joy, of your heart, when you're ready for it? <laughs> it gives me great joy to speak to you like this, because I believe many people cannot even understand that God is wanting to help them, that God is wanting to be part of who you are. And angels are assistants to God. We are his assistants. We are limited, limited in some ways, but for most things, we can very much help. We can very much help. And you say, well, if God is so great and has, has all this power, why did he create angels anyway? What good are they? Well, he's created universe after universe after universe. And he says, sure, I can take care of it all, but, you know, for a little bit more personalized help, I'm creating some angels, I'm creating some things, and if you want some more personalized help sometimes, I can send someone to work with you for a longer period of time than just what I have to offer you in, in this period. And I want you to be happy, and I want you to have all the things that you want. Why wouldn't I? If you ask, Ask for bread because you're hungry. Would I give you anything else? So therefore, believe. Bring your belief systems right into the heart. Believe, feel, feel it. I, some people say, I can't feel anything. I, ca I can't feel it. I can't feel any emotions hardly at all. It's the third dimension has batted those things out of you some, somehow in some way, and so you're protecting yourself by not feeling anything. It's not a protection. It's a shield to keep out all the good things that God and angels and spirits have to offer. And they tell you that you're protecting yourself. But you know what? You are not. You're shielding yourself from great things. Remember that. It's an important piece of information. Don't shield yourself from great things. Let them in. Accept them. I know I got off topic. But I just wanted to share that with you because I'm excited. Because I see some movement. Oh, of course, there's always negativity moving in and out of the ranks. There's always, oh, no. Oh, that poor person, they're, they're just not using the best of their abilities. They're not doing what they should do. They, you know, you don't have to accept that. You don't. You don't have to accept anything that's not really you. If it's from outside coming to you, you can say, hold on, is that really me? Are they really talking about me? Or are they talking about themselves and trying to put me in the same light? <clears throat> A lot of people will shed their information to you but it's their information, you see. It's coming from their heart. And it's not necessarily who you are. So you don't have to accept it. Remember that. I know that message has been out there before, but it has to come back because many people forget it. They hear somebody say, blah, 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 and they accept it and are hurt and whatever. And they don't have to. It's not. Sometimes it's not meant to be that way. But yet, it's, it's third dimension. It's the way you were taught to accept it. You were taught to accept things into your life that really aren't part of you. 
Do you understand that? Is there questions about that? Well, one thing we're experiencing during the class is... Come up and when, speak here. When, you, when we, we follow these very simple tools and processes, we're all starting to connect very easily almost and expands our belief system. Yes. And then more importantly, there's a tool to verify the truth from our soul's perspective. So then finally we have a way to know what's true for us, for our soul, and it bypasses our mind and bypasses what society has taught us. Correct. So it lets us cut through a lot of clutter and it actually lowers stress and it helps make what's in our best decisions be almost every step of the day is what's in my best interest. Exactly. Follow it. Yes. And then that disengages the mind and it does all sorts of, of amazing things. Isn't Absolutely. It? Exactly what I'm saying. Yes. yes. Very, very good. <laughs> yes. I agree with that 100%. Because if you are following your highest joy, if you are following that which you know is part of who you are, is part of the, the person that you were born to be, and you are checking in on that all the time, you're going to be a much happier person. Even if it's not right there in front of you, even if it's not manifested at this time yet, you have the belief, belief, hear that word, belief, you believe that it will manifest and believe that you will become the person that you are meant to be. And I can hardly wait to see that, the, that everyone's be becoming who they are so that they don't have to hide or shy away from society or hide themselves because they're not happy with who they are or not happy with some of the things that are happening in their life. They can reach out and say, this is who I really am. This might be happening in my life, but I know who I am. I know that this is me. And I don't have to hide that. You should be proud of who you are. God made you in his own uniqueness to be the person that you are so that you will be proud and you use your talents for the betterment of humanity and the universe. Ultimately, everything that you do that is good affects the universe. I just had to come and say all these things to you. I do not know if there's any questions. Is there? I have a question. Yes. Oh, now there's questions. I feel like it could be applied personally, yes. but also to people in benefit in general. And oh, yes. I was wondering, it's sort of a two-step thing. I was wondering how for the people who wouldn't support you on your path or believe in you until you reach the destination, how to maybe get them to believe you on your path, and then also how to attract people who more would be in support of you on your path rather you. than when you get to the destination. Exactly. And the answer to that is very easy. Example. You must be the example of the person that you truly are. This affects everyone around you and all people. Because if you are an example of a person that just lives in society, living day to day as a regular person in society, do not people see that and take advantage of it. But if they see that there is something in you that is different, that is speaking out, that is more happy, that has joy, does not draw that, doesn't that draw attention to you in a very positive way? Also, Whenever these people come to you to give you their opinion, you have that ability to say to them, thank you for your opinion. Uh, and you do not have to rebuke them. You do not have to argue with them. You do not have to give them your two cents or what you think of them because sometimes you think, eh, what a loser. But you can actually give them a great example by being positive and saying, well, thank you for that. I will, I will take that into consideration, but, you know, I, I, may, I have some other ideas as well. You know, you don't have to just arbitrarily accept everything that people say. And also, when you're doing that, other people hear you do that. Your example is drawing people to you. Who you are draws people to you.
to you. You can draw very powerful people to you because you are yourself and genuine. Genuine people attract other genuine people. They also attract those that would like to use genuine people. So be aware of that as well. You have the users, but you usually can see through them. You, you, you can see th what if someone's trying to just get close to you for their own, their own purposes. So understand that your example and how you are acting in the world is the greatest thing that you can do to let people know who you really are and attract the most positive people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. Go ahead. Oh, come over. Yeah. First question. Does Jim's body need some water? I don't think so. All right. And the next question, and I saw this in the room as well, a day is wondering about her dream, her message with Archangel Michael from the other night. Okay. And what you can tell her. Okay, she's, uh, what, she's on a path. Uh, a day is on a path of enlightenment. A day is on a path where she is learning to uh, channel and get closer to the essence of spirit, just as we all are in this room and in the world, hopefully. But it is that she is going to find the message of Michael to be that all things are possible. That is the, the message to her. All things are possible. And the things that she wants she wants many things right now. There are many things that, that are coming and going, and she understands that, the, that uh, only certain things can happen at certain times. But in the long run, a day, all things will be working together for your good. And don't forget that. You are well loved. Valerie? And then we can go. OK, ah, actually, we have all kinds I have a question for someone else that wrote in. Her name is Carol Lordy. And she has to say That's that right. her dad, Pierre Lordy, passed away this Wednesday. Uh, she could not speak to him. So she would like to know, does he have a message for her? And do you see her moving into his home? And will you send help to her to have success in this? First of all, I can only speak for him right now. And he's saying that he's in a wonderful place. And he's very happy. He loves you very much. And he understands everything that's going on with you now more than he did before because he has a different point of view. And everything is well. And he loves you dearly. The second thing is there will be a there's going to be a time when the home is not available for a little while because of some legal ramifications or something, I'm not quite sure. But it will be as it should be. And he will be talking about that with all those people involved. <laughs> that will be seen. Thank you, Uriel. I believe somebody else in the room had a question for you. Yes, I believe you have a question. Yes. I have a comment and a question for myself. Yes. The comment being, I feel that the, it's not a coincidence, um, the connection between Uriel and my son. Yes. And for myself, I would like some information, if you can tell me, on Kanara and who she is to me. Kanara, is she in space or is she? In, where is this Kanara? Ah, I believe spirit or an angel. One moment, please, and I will connect. Thank you. Just a moment. Yes. 
Yes, she is in spirit. Kanara is a guardian of yours. And she is wanting you to be more aware of her at this time because there are things coming up that, uh, that she sees that you need protection from. So this is something I think you are aware of as well. And um, she's just letting you know it's going to be all right that she's going to take care of you in this situation and not to worry. Keep, keep positive and keep, uh, even though it may look dire at some times, it's going to be all right. Thank you. And your connection, ah, yes, that's good. And my connection to your son. Yes. He is a good boy. Good for you. And he is also very gifted. And we are working with him. Thank you. And you will be proud of him. I already am. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, of course. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. I have two, actually. Yes. I was curious about the, the energy that's coming in and how it's going to affect our planet. Yes. As well as if there was any messages for me. Very well. You are Josh? That's correct. One moment, please. The energies, you mean the cloud? Yes. Oh, yes. The energies, I see that we as angels are going to be protecting the earth in many ways. There are millions of angels. You cannot know the names of all the millions of angels. There are big angels. There are little angels. There are angels for this and that and the other thing. And so we will all be around to be helpful in this situation. If we see that there is a need, we will definitely help you out. But as with you, God has told us that things will be all right. God has told us that not to worry, but to be aware that w there will be some people that will need help. And so that is what we're prepared to do. And he's also told us some of the people that will be needed that will be needing help. So we are ready for that. The other thing is, Josh, for you, you are coming to a, a time of enlightenment. You are, are changing. Your thought processes are awakening. And your fourth dimensional energy is becoming more active. You're seeing possibilities where there were no possibilities before. Do you catch me? Yes. And now that you are seeing that, this is going to awaken another side of your personality. Um, you have always been very pragmatic and very analytical. Now you are going to be m a little bit more uh, or a little bit less uh, uh, pragmatic and, and analytical because you s you've already analyzed it at this point. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so uh, there are going to be occasions where you, you're going to jump and be a little bit more si simultaneous. What is the word? Spontaneous. There it is. You're going to be a little more spontaneous. In fact, I think you've caught yourself doing that once already. So maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But it is going to happen that your the joy in you, the the love, the understanding, the positivity will jump a little bit now and then. Does that make sense to you? You're welcome. <laughs> I must go now. Yes, thank you for coming. We appreciate your presence. I'm, I'm I would sorry, like to say I had a question. Thank you. Oh, hold oh, on. Who is, who is talking? Sarah. This is Sarah. Um, oh, Sarah. Yes, I had a question because of um, a comment that was made earlier about protecting yes. oneself when healing. Yes. How do you suggest one does that? Just whenever you prepare to do healing, you just ask that you are protected. Um, many p times when you are preparing yourself for healing, you're thinking more about the client and not about yourself. So therefore, think about yourself first. Prepare your energy, prepare your life force, 
prepare, I say, some meditations and protect yourself. And then go into the healing session. And you will be much greater a healer. You will be protected and you will be um, focused. Because many people that walk into, I've noticed that when pe people do energy healing on your planet, they walk in, they have a cup of coffee, they're chatting, they're doing this and that, but they're not really focusing on the purpose of their meeting, which is to heal people in these Reiki shares and things of that nature. Sometimes they, they're, they get a little carried away and they're socializing. Not a problem. A beautiful thing, actually. However, when it comes time to help and bring your energy to the situation and bring your energy to someone else, you must do a slight preparation and protect yourself. Does that make sense to you? And the yeah. way to protect yourself is put the white light around you or many people have their own methods of protecting themselves against the harshness that can come to them while they're healing. Because sometimes when you're healing, the actual illnesses or pains are coming out of the person as you're actually uh, sending positive beautiful energy through them many times when positivity is flowing through someone the negativity is coming out and that would be disease pain sickness bacteria viruses so protect yourself from those things yeah cuz I found myself starting to do some sort of healing with my hand and it's just happening automatically yes but you see for you I would wake up in the morning and just protect yourself for the entire day for the and therefore you won't have to worry worry if automatic healing is happening because there are those people yes and you're one where the third eye the eyes the heart or, or the fingertips and palms just activate okay yes that's exactly what's happening um and who's the being connecting to my my not crown, but the angel chakra in the back at the moment because it's being very Right now persistent. that is Raphael. Because you were speaking about protection, Raphael is big on protection. There are many of us that are big on protection, but Raphael is the king protector of... He is the strongest and best at what he does. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Um, I would like to thank you for coming, and before we let you go, can you give us a blessing? Absolutely. It would be my honor to give you a blessing, and I will speak it in the angelic language because it has so much more meaning that way, and I, then I will give it to you in, in your English, which it loses some things in the translation, but you will feel it in the angelic language in a little different way. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Shira kaha Adonai Pashuta Eriatatu Simfon Siatia Conchia Nyama Pacham Shalomja Eriala La Sasa Dia Sandido Tukarawa Sandukata Miana Oh, she hi hallelujah. Come, young Janju. What a tassila. She pianta. Who was so so sundi? Elekashun sishomo. She she was unsitting dear tiendo. Oh, coquati. Quishuasha. Mohansio tio. Wunder duty to de ratam. Ha, cashoshun sas. I ask God to be your protector as well as we. And I ask that you all follow the bright light within you, the God that is within you and the life that is to be your own. Be who you are. Live as if you are gaining power every day for you are. Gain your personality and gain the wealth of the universe as it comes to you 
as you can handle it. We love you. We honor you. We respect you. We believe in you, believe in us and God, and believe that all things are possible, and believe that they are possible for you. We thank you for listening. We thank you for the open ears, and an open heart, and open mind. Bless you. And may the light always be in front of you to light your path. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.